On March 1, 2002, we rescued a Siamese cat from the home of an animal hoarder. We named her Sybil. This is her story. This is Miss Sybil, and uh, it is now April 15th, it's tax day, and she is due to have kittens, and she's been the occasion to break out the video camera and uh, give people a little, a little intro to her and establish a little record of what this girl is about, and it's been a long month. But uh, I think we're slowly coming to the end of it, even though she seems to be very reluctant to let these kittens go. So she's here in my office, which has been thoroughly kittened up. You wouldn't believe what a mess it is with all these cats, all this cat stuff here for her. She sits there. Here's my chair and my desk. And uh, she's, she prowls around the bottom of it. Here's her little scratching post. Here's, here's some toys that are randomly. Um, but she's gotten a lot less active now that the kittens are about to drop. I've got boxes all over. I've got a place here next to my desk. She's explored that. I don't know. I got a box over here. Uh, she hasn't paid one bit of attention to that. There is Sybil in her tummy. I don't think it's going to be long. Okay, we're another day along. It's Tuesday, April the sixteenth. Uh, April the sixteenth. She's still in one piece, and she's still pretty cute. Is that a kitten right there? Could be. I think those little bumps didn't used to be there. And it's either a hip, a hip, or a kitten. Good girl. That's a purr. Well, it's Thursday, and it's uh, that's the um, 18th of April. She's looking pretty big. Boom. It is Monday morning, or Monday afternoon, excuse me, April 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we must be extremely close to final delivery here. So, it is now Tuesday, and uh, every day I say, this is sure to be the day that we have come in and have kittens, but so far we still have a cat and she doesn't have any kittens yet. <laughs> it's now Friday the 26th. She still has not given birth and she is a walking cat. She's a walking big cat. Yes, she is. <laughs> now it's Saturday the 27th and uh, she's still in one piece you can see she looks like a basketball it's Sunday Sibyl. April 28th it's Sunday now it's Monday April. I believe that's the 29th of April Monday the 29th and she is large 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 hi Sybil
I've got these various places for her. Oh, she'll have to make up her mind soon. Oh my goodness. It's Tuesday morning. I came in the door. She greeted me at the door like normal. I thought everything was normal. And I was unloading my stuff, putting everything down. And then suddenly I saw there were these three little white things huddled on the blanket in the middle of the floor. Oh my goodness. Of course, she had these kittens on the couch. So the couch is quite a mess. And we'll just have to deal with that. Um, we'll just have to deal with that, yeah. They're making a little milk. This guy here has gotten in on his tit. These other guys are looking for one. There's one that's working good. They're kind of... Come here. Come. Let's make sure everybody gets one. Come, come, come. There's one down here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Sybil, girl, you did it. So can you have too many little cat videos here? Oh, God. They are very nice looking. So these three seem to be okay. <coughs> okay, they are less than 24 hours old. It's now just about noon on Tuesday, April 30th. They were here when I got up, when I got up, when I came in this morning. And she didn't hide them away. She put them right out in the middle of the floor on her towel where I could see them. Sybil survived the feline catastrophe, lived to be rescued, and delivered her kittens. Then in late September, she died suddenly of previously undiagnosed diabetes. We miss her. You can read more at ilin.net slash kittens.